Okay, the, the whole thing is to... The whole thing is to realize that we are not um, that we are one, that we are that what is around us is one with us. That's what we. That's what we tap into when we. What we what we call our centered. Um, the human, the mind is in, is in a, and the body is in a constant pull between the yin and the yang, or the feminine and the masculine, uh, which is also what we call the pH in the body, and acid and base. And the whole idea now is to remain centered, to contain that center, and when we contain that center, we are hooked up to a higher matrix if you wish um, a higher agenda and it's that that is going to um, guide us to what I would call an upgrade uh, a frequency upgrade and when we're not centered then we are as it were easily recruited into these poles, which is either the one and the yin or the yang, alone, separate, and that when there is a lot of division in the between these two poles in us, then we are hooked up to a lower matrix, if you wish. And all of the fear mongering that is going on now is actually part of this, part of trying to. Uh, hook us up to a lower agenda, if you wish. And, um, of, so one of, the part, one of the things that I wanted to share is that is of extreme importance now in, in, in staying centered, this, uh, despite all of the, the fear-mongering, is that is what, um, is what I call um, the glitches or the synchronicities, the glitches, we need to realize that the surrounding is not separate, it's, which is what we see around us with the senses is a, uh, basically an illusion or a hologram. Because the illusion is that we tend to sense a sense of separateness when we perceive through the senses. And the whole idea of becoming one with, uh, with all around us, which is what is referred to in the movie The Matrix with um, the one, when, when Neo becomes the one, which is also when he becomes, uh, as it were, uh, untouchable, is that we need to see that the surrounding is not separate and that, and we can see that in terms of the glitches, what I call this glitches or the synchronicities. Uh, and we're talking about not yet the deep synchronicities, which is what we get when I when we really hook up to this collective process, which I would call the 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 the, the agenda or the story, the prophecy, which is where we get an upgrade, if you wish, in frequency. But to get there, what we need to do is we need to realize, we need to study, we need to be very mindful that what is happening around us is always happening in a compensatory fashion, meaning that if I am uh, too much in the yang, the yin, the yang, if I am too uh, in the fire, which is up high, inflated, then things will happen to me in my surrounding to deflate me. I could get a flat tire, or a bird can fly into my uh, windshield. What this does, the, 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 what this means, and this is the way we, we process that when we can connect to these glitches, these, these compensatory synchronicities, is that we, we realize that the surrounding is a, is a hologram, is not, is a hologram in the sense that it's not real in terms of matter separating us from others. Time and space is, we realize that 
it's really uh, we are really connected with everything we become the one meaning that we become we realize that everything around us is able to behave as us meaning to compen to become to compensate us and uh, and given the state we are in see this is very very important it means that the surrounding is an extension of us um, that's the first level of as it were exiting the matrix the illusion of separateness um, we literally then start to realize what um, in the movie the matrix Neo saw started to realize that when in this last scene when he was being shot at then the bullets froze in the air and then they fell and then he saw this he saw through the matrix as it were he saw that what we would now call matter is actually nothing but behind that there's this field that compensates us in terms of the yin and the yang and feminine and masculine and that was his first connect uh, first glimpses if you wish of real reality which is where everything is one where I am one with everything and everything can can compensate me in terms of self meaning in terms of my unconscious that the unconscious is everywhere and this is what Jung once was asked where is the unconscious and Jung said it's everywhere it's all around us and that really means what that means in terms of uh, Buddhism is that we exit the Maya and we become the one meaning that everything around us is one with us and that is the practice of these what, I, what the glitches or the synchronicities is, or, or when things behave in strange ways the key to that the code to that door is that they behave in ways that are opposite to the state we are in and when we can touch that when we can accept that when we can realize that the 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 flat tire is a uh, compens is compensating my inflation, my yang, and then the yang is going to balance me off. That takes us to the center, and then we connect to the deeper um, layer of reality, which is uh, beyond the illusion, which is what I call the wave, and this is where we get much um, a, a yet greater form of miracle or synchronicity, if you wish. And by then we are. Uh, out of the matrix out of this maya illusion and then we start to connect to others in this in this wave form and the idea now is that we the more of us that are able to connect to this wave and form these groups which are called in the book of James Redfield the ascension groups the more these groups connect to a, uh, a, a, pro a flow of process, a collective process, which is going to, as it were, take us to the next level, the, an, an, an upgrade. And being stuck in the matrix and being stuck in that illusion of separateness, which is what is done when we are uh, locked into fear. And, 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 ho and, and recruited into these fake uh, dichotomies, left, right, green versus fossil energy, and anything that has to do with uh, uh, fake left, right dichotomies, and especially fear or addictions, pleasure, meaning when we're not integrated, and that is the process that is happening now with all these, uh, with what I called in the prior video, uh, the ET uh, agenda, hoaxing us into accepting some external intervention because we would not so-called be able to do it ourselves and this hoax this is what would be called then the negative rapture then we are hoaxed into a, a rapture but which is a downgrade down into a lower frequency so the point is to to work on these synchronicities these glitches next to being uh, uh, mindful of our uh, of our opposites within.